It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the E-Commerce Minute is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pinny Bowes. SendPro Online is software that makes it easy to save time and money, no matter what you ship or mail. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates. E-Commerce Minute listeners can try it for free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com slash minute. That's pb.com slash minute. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 429. In today's episode, Wiley Shop does zero-waste grocery service. If 2018 was the year of the plastic straw ban, 2019 might just become the year we collectively work to reduce all plastic waste. The Wally Shop is a Brooklyn, New York-based startup that bills itself as a zero-waste grocery store. It's an eco-friendly way to get your groceries. When you order, a bike courier will head to a farmer's market or a food co-op and then deliver it to you. This cuts down on carbon emissions. All the packaging that is used is recyclable, which cuts down on trash. Instead of plastic or paper bags, you might get cloth bags. When you order, you get charged a buck for each piece of reusable packaging. When you reorder, the delivery person will pick up the wrappings and give you a credit for what you return. The packaging is cleaned and reused for new orders. This leads to less waste and products that actually get recycled. Many items you can buy in store now come in recycled or reclaimed packaging. However, the EPA estimates that less than a third of recyclable plastic containers actually make it to the recycling bin. As people become more environmentally sensitive, major brands are starting to rethink packaging as well. And as we stated in our podcast, episode number 400, companies like Pepsi, Nestle, Unilever, and Procter & Gamble will let customers order through Loop's online website. Products such as deodorant, mouthwash, shampoo, or ice cream will show up at your door in reusable containers. Currently, the Wally Shop is operating in select neighborhoods in Brooklyn, but it hopes to expand in other areas in New York City, as well as cities like San Francisco and Boston. Wally Shop. So soon, are you going to go to a grocery store and then just like put your hands out and then just like pour pour stuff yeah, in so your you hands would, so and you, you can want, leave? So <laughs> what I've found is if you put two hands together and they pour the coffee beans, that's a half a pound of coffee right there. So that's that's how you measure <laughs> this is like going back to the olden days. It's like, I'm sending out my horse and carriage out for the groceries. <laughs> All right. So we make fun, but I, I like the intent here. And obviously, yes. this is a very, this is for a very niche customer that probably drinks kombucha and burns sage in their house. I'm making fun, but I would use this if this was around my house. So that's why I make fun. I like this kind of stuff. I think it's a good trend. I mean, I guess if you want to spend the extra money, it's great. This isn't for everybody. No, I just, I just, I find it funny to, (laughs) first of all, I love when you make fun of things because I, so ladies and gentlemen, if you have a hint, if he's making fun of something, he loves it. It's It's really (laughs) just plain and simple. (laughs) Either he loves it or uses it already and loves to use it. He's making fun of it. You caught me. If, if that's a, that's a cheat sheet right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, this is this is good. Uh, I mean, I think sustainable. You know, there's too much. You know, there's way too much waste. You know, I even like we just talked about Whole Foods not long ago. I mean, going to Whole Foods for me half the time, like I hate taking the little bags mm-hmm. um, and putting. I just put it in the cart. I mean, whatever. I'll wash it at home. It's just extra bags, like extra yeah. plastic out there. You know, like, I'll use it. Sometimes I'll take them because I'll use it for other things. But for the most part, I like don't like using that. Yeah, we use the the the, the vinyl and canvas swag bags that I've accumulated over the years because yeah. our grocery store actually we we have a small chain near us and they charge you for the plastic bags. So we use our old swag bags and that works out great. We don't. Have FYI, I plastic. think that's a PA thing. I think they charge any store will do that for the plastic ones. I'm pretty oh, really? sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But um, so when I go to Whole Foods, I actually don't bring bags. I actually take the paper ones that they have. It's kind of weird, but uh, we use them as trash. <laughs> oh, the uh, ones with the handles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We use them as our trash can instead of trying yeah. to use the plastic well, ones. We, we Unfortunately, we're surrounded by plastic in Philadelphia, so we use them for our trash bags as well. And it drives yep. me nuts. I mean, that was the one reason that I stopped using HelloFresh, just the amount of packaging is just... Uh, they, don't no, uh, they no longer do that, bud. Is there an update? Do you have something to share? Yeah, they no longer use boxes or stuff like that. They give you bags, like a, like the Ikea, big Ikea like bag. Like a cooler type bag? 
No, no, but the IKEA bags, you know, the big ones. Right, but and it's then a, basically, they call it a cooler bag. They usually it's like insulated plastic no, bag. No, it's not goes. insulated at all. Nope, nope, just a leg. Like so your a, food just rots out in the sun or what? No, happened? I mean they're refrigerated <laughs> trucks, so they deliver it to you. Yeah, but I mean, if I get my Hello Fresh and I'm at home, it's sitting on the step. That's why it was wrapped in seven pounds of insulation. Oh, I don't know. What to, I'm, I'm always hoping when they deliver. But anyway, mm-hmm. so they give you the bags, and then you can give the bags. You give the bags back on the next delivery. Well, that's so they have got rid of a lot of that stuff. So it's crazy. So according, I think I read this stat earlier. According to EPA, only half of the packaging boxes, plastic coverings, etc. In 2015, this goes back to 2015, so I'm sure it's doubled by then. Was recycled. The remaining ends up in landfills, totaling over 29 million tons. <laughs> <laughs> crap that lands in a landfill it's just it's a tricky thing i like what some of the companies are doing but it's all about you know you have to you have to skirt that thing you know if you have a big company you're beholden to shareholders you can't just go and be all like yeah man we're going to be price we're going to be sensitive to the environment and then all of a sudden the, pr- the cost of the product goes up a buck 25 shareholders you know they, they, they're there with <laughs> right burning your, burning your building down <laughs> So it's a fine line, and it's the smart companies that know how to straddle that without being like almost like a PR stunt, like, oh, look at us. We're eco-sensitive. You know, like right. if you look at like a company like Procter & Gamble, you can't just come and say, oh, we're eco-sensitive because someone's going to go and say, yeah, but 75% of your other products are completely wasteful. But we talked about that Tide box that's made for e-commerce. Like why can't they slowly just convert everything to these – recyclable packages that's a hard question because it's a big ship to turn you know you're talking about oh yeah it's not cheap (laughs) and it's not cheap to like suddenly say all right we're not we're not going to make plastic bottles anymore next week no it's like (laughs) it'd be like (laughs) okay in 2021 we're gonna have you know it's a big ship to turn so it's well it's i mean a lot of research a lot of packaging right like how do you ship things properly and safely and it doesn't you know you, you got to look at different things too right the end and ending up in the landfill is part of it but also like you know you put it into something that dissolves and it, it sits in a container for long too long and then all of a sudden you have this container of just nothing <laughs> <laughs> in the container yeah, so, right right you know and you talk about shipping then you talk about carbon emissions i know we were talking about wally shop we're kind of going off on a tangent here but it, it's all relates you talk about things the great example is beer okay yep beer is delicious in a bottle Beer is also heavier in a bottle. Why do you think all the craft beers are in cans now? Because it's cheaper to ship. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the CPG companies are really starting to rethink, not just from a recycling standpoint, but a, how do I get it from point A to point B without paying a fortune? Because that that part that part of the transaction never seems to go down. That part of the transaction only seems to go up. And you talk about getting it to the the manufacturer, getting to the distribution center, then getting in the last mile, like all that starts to add up and your margins get eaten away. So having craft beer in cans only makes sense. And we would hope that other CPG brands would follow suit and figure out lighter, more uh, econ- um, ecologically responsible packaging uh, in the future. Ecologically, <laughs> ecologically responsible packaging. Fair enough. And John, if you're going to ship this stuff, how would you ship it? Uh, I would use SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. Ladies and gentlemen, are you paying too much to send out packages and letters? Wouldn't it be nice to have a solution that would give you the lowest of lowest rates? With SendPro Online, it's easy to save time and money no matter what you send, from packages to overnights to letters. You can easily compare USPS, UPS, and FedEx rates all in one easy-peasy online tool. You also gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping. And you can print your labels and stamps from your own printer. Talk about convenience. You can track all your shipments and get email notifications when they've arrived. SendPro Online is only $14.99 a month. And for being an e-commerce minute listener, you can get a free 30-day trial to get started, plus a free 10-pound scale to help you accurately weigh your packages. Visit pb.com slash minute to access this special offer. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of Sim Pro Online. Bart, you got anything else? Recycle. Recycle. Reuse. Recycle. A tree commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. 
That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>